first uh, uh, problem that I want to talk about is Markov inequality, uh, problem 2.21. So this is given to you, uh, and the Markov inequalities for probabilities, and uh, we have Px, which is a probability mass function, and then we need to prove for all d greater than y equal to zero that uh, this inequality holds. So here on this side, we have uh, entropy. And on this side, we have something uh, new, okay? So D is the fixed parameter. So let us start work with this one. Okay, I just copied it right here. And then I noticed that it is a probability of collection of all x that uh, p of x is uh, less than d. That's what this uh, means. So, and the multiplier that with the uh, log of one over d, so I, I, just, I just copied it. And then when I take a look at this part, I can let it be written as this, okay? So summation of all Px, where x is uh, an element of this set, which is this set, okay? Where Px is less than y equal to d. So uh, that's, so uh, x is an element of such set, and uh, we take the summation on Px. Okay, and uh, I have inequalities here, uh, and I have replaced D with Px. So in this set, in this set, D is larger than Px. Okay, so one over D is smaller than or equal to one over Px. So that's why I have an inequality here. And uh, this is uh, more uh, closer to look like entropy, but uh, only uh, the part that uh, makes it depart from entropy is uh, this one right here. If I had uh, X an element of B an element of whole set of alphabet, then it would, it would be the entropy, okay? So that's what I have done right here. So every possible X I have chosen where Px is a number between zero and one, then this is a whole set, then this is going to be this is uh, to be the entropy, okay? So since I have a uh, uh, larger set right here, I have inequality goes this way. So this is entropy and inequality, inequality goes this way. All right, so I have a proven that this one is uh, smaller than or equal to hx. And uh, here is a problem of uh, 2.30, uh, which is about maximum entropy. Find the probability mass function px that maximizes the entropy hx of a non-negative integer value to turn a uh, random variable x subject to the constraint where expectation of x is equal to a, where a is, is a fixed number greater than zero. And then once you have figured, figured out what px is, then you can obtain the maximum entropy. All right, so this uh, is, uh, uh, problem to find distribution, P 
gx of a non-negative integer value to random variable x that maximizes the entropy. So here px, I have replaced it with the pn because this is integer value. I will use uh, n as a dummy variable. And uh, this is uh, should be subject to expected value of x is equal to a. So the optimization problem to solve is this one. Okay, so maximize the entropy subject to the expectation constraint, which is this one. This is nothing but the expectation of X that should be equal to A, okay? And this is uh, another constraint. Pn is supposed to be distribution. So sum of all Pn should be equal to one. All right, so this is solving this problem, okay? Uh, obviously, this type of problem, um, uh, Pn is the uh, variable that you want to optimize. So you have to take the derivative of, of with respect to Pn. So I replace uh, P uh, parentheses ends as a P substitute n. So that uh, it's easier for me to write derivative. So um, that, that's the only uh, trick that uh, uh, I will do. But uh, this problem here is a legitimate maximization problem with the two constraint. So you can use Lagrange multi multiplier to solve for uh, optimal Pn. Okay, once you have found the optimal Pn, then you found the distribution and uh, uh, that distribution should be a function of A, right? So once you have that, you, uh, you, you, you can obtain the entropy. I will talk about Markov inequality here. And then once you, ah, this is about problem, problem 3.1, Markov, Markov's inequality and Chebyshev's inequality. And uh, basically uh, this problem is very good uh, uh, in, in this regard. Basically, if you follow, uh, prove, uh, I mean, follow this problem and prove each uh, solve problems, A, B, and C, then you have, uh, you know, prove the weak law of large numbers. So this is very interesting problem. Thanks. And then I'll talk about Markov inequality. And then uh, the rest, you can just follow the setup of the uh, given in the problem. Okay, then you will be able to prove weak law of large numbers. So this one, I can write this way, okay? So T probability X and then Y equal to T is less than uh, expectation of X. So uh, this one, uh, um, uh, can be written this way as well. So it's a T and the probability that uh, X belongs to uh, Small x, x plus dx. Okay, and then this x go to t to infinity. And then what about this side? That's on this side, right? Is equal to that. What about this one? Hold on a sec. 
expectation uh, is what? Expectation is uh, from zero to infinity. And uh, this one should be multiplied by x and the probability that x belongs to x x plus dx okay so that's the expectation uh, so which one should be larger and this one here when x is uh, uh, so, so here, uh, uh, in this, uh, 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 anywhere in this uh, set uh, is the, the value x is greater than t because this one uh, is uh, uh, stopped uh, at, the, I mean, fixed at the lowest value uh, in the interval, right? So uh, the x, dummy variable x, runs from t to infinity, and uh, this is multiplied multiplied with the smallest value t, right? But this one here is uh, keep on varying as uh, uh, the dummy is increased increased from zero to infinity. So uh, this one is uh, larger than. Uh, equal okay so equality is obviously the case where the random variable is degenerate case uh, such as a constant so so we have approved uh, markov inequality so once you have approved markov inequality you can utilize these uh, using some uh, utility random variable y uh, which has a mean mu and variance sigma square, and then you can obtain shell shell inequality, and then you can use this to obtain the low of large numbers.